Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another exciting technical video. And this is the 12th video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow and JavaScript where we are learning the fundamental of JavaScript from the beginning concept like values, variables, up to like object, array, function, how you can declare loops. There are so many things we are covering, right? So this is the 12th video. And let me also tell you that we are also doing the coding exercise, but that is only available for the members. So if you want to practice more coding exercise, then you can join my channel with a very minimum affordable price for everyone. And then you can have the benefits of the members. Also, if you are joining as a members, you can also get, you know, more than 100 questions of ServiceNow CSA examination, which definitely help you to clear the exam. Okay. Okay. So let's start the class. All right, so this is my Visual Studio at the left and this is my uh, the output in the Chrome console. So you can see in the last class, we have learned a very, very important concept that helps a lot, which is the template literals. Also, the exercise video has been uploaded, so you can go and watch it out. That is the part two exercise video. Now we have learned template literals and we have seen how easy it is to write, you know, print something with the help of uh, template literals, especially when you are printing variables going into the next line. All these things are going to help a lot. Right, and we have done already. Uh, if you missed the video, don't worry, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Also, you can find the link here on your screen. Now, in today's class, we are going to learn another very, very important thing. So I'll make it a comment before that. We are going to learn the switch statement. Switch statement, which is very, very, very important and very useful also. Okay, all right. So how we will start? So first, okay, let me rephrase the output also. This should be blank save okay now how we define a switch statement and what's the benefit of it so we use switch statement when we have multiple condition for the outcome of a value so that means what i mean is that for an example let's say let day equal to uh, monday okay so maybe you have written a program where based on the day you know different things would show up uh, for the users in a particular website maybe so in such scenario when you have multiple conditions so you know we can go up to like seven days monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday like that okay so seven different outcome can be possible here so it's not only uh, day equal to monday so that's why i'm showing you for the example as a common example for switch but you can use it based on your requirements you can use a different string or anything but the concept would remain same so first i declare let day equal to monday now i'm going to write the switch here the so switch statement and all i need to do in the bracket day so based on different day it would show different output so i'll start the curly brace and here the first day is monday so i can write it like this so in switch you need to write it like case this is the first case case where i'm typing monday and then there is a colon so now i am going to write what would gonna happen for monday so maybe i'm gonna print console dot log so for monday i'm doing it so it's like uh need to prepare for my next video okay so this is a day i'm okay and also i can print another line for monday as well so i'm gonna prepare for my next video sorry for the spelling and also need to record the video okay and i generally post the video on tuesday you know <laughs> okay so this is for the case monday now once i completed for the case monday and i need to move to the second case which is the case tuesday in that case i need to mention break break is a particular keyword that would help you to break from the case and go to the next case next case so I will tell you what would happen if we don't use break. Okay. So first let me continue with the second case, which is the case Tuesday. And for Tuesday, maybe I am doing the console.log. Maybe I'm posting the video. So posting the video on my channel. Okay. Done. Maybe I'll move to the next case. That is a case Wednesday. So suppose you are going to write same for Wednesday and Thursday. So you can do like this case Wednesday and case 
Thursday. So it would be same for both of the day. Thursday and then you can write console.log so in Thursday and Wednesday maybe I'm going to uh, perform the analytics so I'll check the YouTube analytics to see how my videos are growing so maybe I can write check the YouTube analytics okay that's done for Thursday case maybe uh, Friday so maybe I'm doing photo shoot for thumbnails photo shoot for sorry thumbnails for my YouTube videos uh, so maybe on Saturday Sunday I'm not not doing anything so it's not the case but yeah just for the example so Saturday and Sunday just chilling so no work in Saturday Sunday okay but this is not the case for me <laughs> but just for the sake of example I'm doing okay these are the different case and these are the different outcome that is possible now also I can write default here so if none of this uh, code works then it would work the default so if not a particular day I'm mentioning so console.log please enter a correct day okay now it's time to see how it's working so maybe the day is monday first then or maybe let's do something it's very simple to declare the day so maybe we, we're going to take the day from the input so now here is a saying in javascript that you can do with the help of prompt so if you type prompt and you mentioned uh, any string here that is definitely you need to mention a message here so that would come as a pop-up in the output and it would ask the value for you so maybe enter the day like this and and the value is storing in the day so that's fine so i will just refresh it you see it is asking for enter the day so i'll type here maybe monday and i'll sorry monday and then i'll press okay you can see for the monday it is showing what are the things i have mentioned so need to prepare for my next video need to record the video okay so again i can refresh and i can choose this time let's choose wednesday so wednesday and thursday would be same so wednesday would showing me okay now see the things now that's the thing i wanted to show you that with the help of how useful the break is so when i type wednesday and thursday it should only show me check the youtube analytics okay but it is showing me check the youtube analytics also photo shoot for thumbnails just chilling and please enter a correct day why all these things are doing so why all these things are showing because i have not mentioned break on each and every case only i mentioned break for monday that's why for monday the output was fine but for other case i have not mentioned the break so you understand the important of break statement so we are going to implement this now so break for wednesday thursday also break so the, this break statement will help so suppose you are searching for wednesday thursday so it will print this break so the code execution will be stopped so I will write break here again and for Saturday Sunday also break and I'll save it I'll again refresh so enter today this time I'll type again Wednesday and you see it is only coming check the YouTube analytics because then we have a break statement so I'll check the Sunday also you see just chilling for, for both Saturday and Sunday we have write the same thing now when the default will execute if you have not written anything like in if you have not written any any case like monday tuesday thursday so maybe you have written like this for an example pritam so it would say please enter a correct day so there is no day called pritam so that you can mention also so maybe like this so i'm going to use a template literals here that we have learned so i'm going to put the variable here day is not a correct day and please write a valid day okay i'm gonna save it now so suppose this time again i'll write pritam 
Pritham is not a correct day. Please write a valid day. So you can understand how useful it is. You can create different case and based on that different output you are going to print. So here I've just shown you based on console.log simply string printing, but in coding exercise, I will do much more complex things uh, with this switch statement. Make sure you are a member of my channel to access the coding exercise. Again, this is a very limited price, very minimal price for all of you. You can easily join without any issue. Okay, so this is it for today, guys. We have learned a very, very important concept switch statement. Okay, if you find this video helpful, hit the like button. If you have any question, any doubt, come to the comment section. Also, if you are facing any issue on joining my channel, do let me know. There's no issue on that. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and families. And also don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you on my next video. Bye-bye. Take care.